Since I put out my long-term Nomad review last week, one of the biggest kind of comments that I've gotten is whether or not it's worth waiting for the A5X2, which is the larger size of the Nomad. And so in this video, I just want to break that down. Some of the aspects that you could expect to be better on the A5X2, some things the A6X2, the Nomad, might be better for. So let's get into it. Now, the Supernote A5X will probably be pretty similar to the Remarkable 2 in terms of the dimensions, thickness from the photo we've seen that they've uh, teased on Reddit. The biggest thing for PDF support is that if you're just looking at a single document, you'll be able to annotate it right away in portrait mode. On the Nomad, you will likely need to rotate it to have it be a little more legible. While it's 300 ppi and really crisp, you can read everything, but it gets kind of small just because it's a 7.8 inch screen. So it is nice that they have the rotation feature now where you can actually rotate it and then each swipe will go through a half page. So that makes it feel like a full kind of PDF experience. But just note that in portrait, it's not gonna be as good as it is in landscape. So if you're doing a lot of PDF markups on here, then the A5X2 will likely be better for you. But the new landscape support is good in the Supernote software. For the Kindle app, I think the A5X2 is a little big for something you wanna be carrying around all the time. So the Nomad will likely be better in that aspect. But if you're a little bit older and you have trouble reading or need glasses, then the A5 size might be a little bit better for you. I think if you're a student, something that's bigger and like if this is going to be your only device, I think it's worthwhile having an A5 size. It just makes your flow of organization on note taking a little bit easier from the get go. The Nomad, while it is still possible, it is a little bit more limiting, just a little bit, right? With the fine point control of the ceramic nibs, it is still pretty good because if you write smaller, you can fit a lot more on a page. But if this is going to be your only device, I think having a bigger size is good. I enjoy the size of the Nomad a lot because it's just a great companion to your laptop. It fits a little bit better than an A5 size sometimes on smaller tables and whatnot. I think it's really good as a supplementary device. For students, I don't think it's the best option if you're solely having one device, having a Nomad. But if you're, you know, if you take mild light notes at work or something, then you can probably get away with a smaller size and just have something a little bit more portable. With Atelier, it is a great little sketch pad that you can carry around with you. But if you're doing much bigger full-size drawings, then I think the A5 does have some value. And the A4 eventually they're gonna make, that's gonna be really cool because that's gonna be just like a massive big canvas type style device. We haven't had any rumors about the battery size, but I wouldn't be surprised if the A5X2 had a bigger battery because it is a bigger body. It'll likely use the same system on a chip. It's possible it could have a bigger battery, but the battery on these devices is already great, so not really a huge issue. And then if you're someone that's kind of hoping that they'll come out with a keyboard accessory, well, they could come out with one for the Nomad. It might be a little small. So I think the A5X2 is more likely to have a keyboard type folio type case, kind of like the Remarkable here. This is certainly a style I think is more apt to an A5X style or X2. And uh, the Nomad is just a little small for that. That's why I have a second external keyboard that I use for it. If you have any more questions on the size, leave them below. Or if you have a Nomad or an A5 device, let uh, people know down in the comments your thoughts because this is this does seem to be one of the most talked about topics that I've seen. It's like, should I wait? Should I get it now? Anyway, here's a video on the Nomad and here's a video on potential accessories we can see for this new Supernote platform that they've been developing. Thanks for watching.